A warm welcome uh, today to Dr. Um, Astrid van Tebergen from Maastricht University, who published a, a wonderful study on gender differences in ankylosing spondylitis. Uh, Dr. van Tebergen, what was your uh, reason to, to study this topic? Well, we wanted to evaluate in patients with ankylosing spondylitis whether there are any differences uh, regarding clinical outcome, but also radiographic outcome, uh, and um, to see if, if uh, this is different in patient uh, in female and male, male patients. So, okay. and and how did you do the study? What was the study design? Okay, well, we um, use data from the OASIS cohort, and OASIS is uh, an um, international multi center cohort, uh, longitudinal study. So, we um, included patients, uh, consecutive patients from uh, four different hospitals, um, and um, we followed them up for um, about 18 years. But we used for this study uh, the first 12 years uh, follow up data. We assessed these patients every two years, um, so they had full examination, they, had, uh, they completed uh, questionnaires and uh, we had radiographs done in these patients. And these data were used to analyse uh, our question. Right, and how many patients uh, did this study involve? Um, we had 216 patients uh, and there were uh, 62 female patients, so that's about 28% of the total population. Right. So I guess the main strength of of the study is the long follow-up. The long follow-up right? time, yes, yes, yes because yes. that was uh, we have uh, seen previous studies that have also uh, looked at gender attributed uh, differences regarding yeah. clinical outcome, yeah. but they were mainly cross-sectional, not uh, or did have a very short follow-up time. Right, yeah. right. So, what were the key outcomes of this um, study? Well, what we mainly saw is that there are no differences regarding um, disease activity and physical functioning in the patients uh, between male and female patients over time. So that's very interesting. Um, but what we did see was that there are, uh, that male patients have a better quality of life over time, uh, and male patients also have show more radiographic progression. So compared that, to female patients. Right, that's, that's counterintuitive, isn't it? Yeah, it's, so it, it, it's separate analysis, so it's not in one model. But uh, okay. we saw these two things. These were two uh, separate outcomes we looked at. Okay, yes. so they were not necessarily the same not patients? Not necessarily no. the same patients. And um, you can um, uh, discuss about what can be the reason why, uh, why we found this uh, worse quality of life over time in females. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the main reason can be that we saw that these patients, the female patients, had more pain, uh, more fatigue compared to male patients. But it can also be something else, like uh, that in ma uh, female patients, um, that they perceive their limitations differently compared to male patients. So in their daily activities, they perceive more limitations, but it can also be that they cope differently with their disease compared to male patients, right. yes. And, 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 and was this in some reason, uh, some way related to drug use, for example, biological use, was that different? No, it was independent of, uh, okay. of uh, medication, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. But we should, um, I should remind you that uh, we started the OASIS study yeah. in 1996 yes, and there yes, were no so biologics available yes, at yes, that time. Yes, yes, so yes. it's only later on from 2002 yes. that we have yes. biologics. Uh, right, so uh, would you expect these data to be different if this study was done in the current day and age? Uh, yeah, it could be actually because now uh, patients are more uh, or well treated, they show less disease activity, they, uh, you see less progression when you uh, treat the patient uh, uh, very well, so when you have less disease activity. Um, so it could be that, uh, that you will not see these differences anymore. In, regarding radiographic progression, um, the male patients from our cohort, they, we saw more smoking in this cohort. We saw um, that they had a higher CRP, for instance, and these are all factors that are contributing to a worse outcome. Yeah. So if you treat them early, perhaps it gets better over time, and then yeah. there is no difference. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, thank you very much for um, highlighting this uh, paper, wonderful paper. I um, thank Dr. van Tuberen for the interview, and I encourage all the uh, viewers to read the full article.